it, they follow the light is what I say. Yeah. A lot more that's in the light and you work with those. So if you're ever going to do it, um, always make sure that you say, I'll only accept those who are in the light. And, and that's very important. And if ever you get a negative, the angel said to me, just say you're in God's light and they'll go away. And that's what happens. But there is a big, big difference because guardian angels and, and angels are always around them. They're there. They're God's messengers, so they're there. The spirit world can be completely different. And sometimes it's quite scary. You know, they can fight the life out of you. But you just have to stand your ground with them but make sure that if you are going to do it, it is what you really want to do. And if it doesn't happen for you, it's just not meant to be for you. Maybe it's a different journey you need to take. Okay, so what I will say to you is be careful. Okay. Is there a guardian angel No. No, it's not. No, that would be your guardian angel is with you. Because your guardian angel says the moment you're conceived. Okay. From the moment you're conceived and stays with you throughout your life. Um, a lot of people would say, you know, oh, my guardian angel is my mom, my dad. Mm. They're not. They would be classed as a guide because they've lived on the earth, they've walked the earth. And what they do is, you know, when they pass over, they decide, you know, I'm going to come back and I'm going to guide my, my daughter, my granddaughter, wherever the case may be. That's their choice. They choose to do that, you know, so that's the, they can't be your guardian angel, but they can be your guide. But can I explain something in that? I do it as well. We have a habit when we're talking to our loved ones who's passed away. And we have a habit of doing this. <laughs> I do it. <clears throat> and, um, you know, because I see the spirit world, I remember one day and I was looking up and I was saying, no, no, you know, like, and I was yakking away to her. And I just happened to look down at her and she said, why do you keep doing that, looking up there when I'm right beside you? And she explained to me the veil between heaven and earth. Very, very small. It's really thin. So they are right beside us, right beside us, they're not up there. But I still do it every now and again, I still have a tendency to do that, where really they're just beside us, they're really only a thought away. So the moment we think about that person who's passed away, that's the moment they step beside us, they're only a thought away, and they're right beside us. Over 2,000 years ago, Spirit World walked beside us. Everybody could see Spirit World. They literally walked beside us, it was natural. And then what happens then is, um, I'm probably going to get lambooned for this now, but how um, What happened then was the, the Catholic, Catholic Church, and even though, you know, I believe in God, I say my prayers, I do all that, but the Catholic, Catholic Church decided this is not right. What we have to do, because we're the only, the priests are the only ones that's allowed to see spirit worlds. You, 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 and you. You're not allowed to see spirit world. And that was to the Catholic Church. And priests, have, myself and priests, have had many a disagreement. But they still don't come tea off me, and that's fine. They, they've come around to thinking, well, you know, you're not doing any wrong, and, and, and that's it. And I've had to explain to them that this is what happened 2,000 years ago, and which is happening again. And this year is very important here for everybody, is that spirit world has decided that a lot more people are going to see us. A lot more people are, are going to realise there is life after this life. A lot more people are going to see that we are happy when we leave this life. That we don't suffer pain. If, if somebody passed with a disability, that disability is gone. Any pain that you've had is gone. So they'll walk with us. And that's what's got, that's happening from this year. It's going to take many, many years then, you know, along the way before we all really start seeing them. But it has happened and it started this year. The world's not going to end. What it is is the Spirit has decided to help us in this <coughs> life to make it a better life and to stop all the water pain. Okay. Yes, sweetie. Um, when you first started to know it was an angel, how did you know it was an angel? Okay. Because she had big wings and she told me because like that because I would see, you know, like a spirit I think you understand about spirit world as well. Um because I I seen a little boy in the spirit world and then the angel came beside me and because I was trying to work out the different which was the difference, she told me, she says, I am an angel. He is a spirit person. So that's how I know she always comes with big wings then. 
she has a lovely smile too. Like yours. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a 10-year-old who um, sees the shirts um, and has done for at least six years now. Okay. Um, she was very, 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 very young. Um, obviously, we didn't realise at first yeah. um, who she was talking to or okay. why or whatever. But she's 10 now and... She's not great on going into like crowded rooms um, because, like even in, in my own home, we had a, a few people in my life, all people she knew, yeah. and I wanted her to come into the kitchen and she wouldn't, she just kept stepping back and when I, she sat on the stairs and went up there, I said, what's wrong? And she said, I can't go in there, there's too many people. Yeah. Well, I said, but don't be silly, you know the models. No, I don't. No, that's true. And what it is, mm. is that um, I'm okay now, I'm, I'm getting my age, I'm over 50, so I'm okay, I'm used to it now. She's having a hard time with it. As a child, and it is really, really hard, because <coughs> what's happening is that it's very hard to walk into a room and, okay, say there's four people in the room, but your child is four people in the room, and those four people have loved ones with them, your child is seeing that, okay? Um, it would be very important for her to um, talk to Archangel Michael um, and what he will do is he will make sure that the, the spirit world are not there at this particular time for her because it seems to be taking a lot out of her. Mm. It's like <coughs> she wants to be a child and she doesn't know how to, if that makes sense. And I know she's an extremely gifted young lady. But what I'm being told right now is there's two beautiful women minding her from the spirit world. And they chose to be her guides. She's two of them. She's two guides. She will go a long way in life. She was sent to this world and to your family to bring a lot of light into the world and to heal the world. But what's happening is spirit world now she can see them and it's getting too much for her. So I would say to you to ask Archangel Michael to put his coat, have you read my book? His blue coat onto her. But I, wa I want you to say to him is wrap it around her three times. Okay? Tell him that he's to clear the way for your child so that she can continue on in her childhood and she'll restart her journey when she's about 15 or 16, believe you me. She will do that. But she will be fine. So she doesn't want to... She doesn't want to not see any of them? Yeah, she won't um, see. What will happen is he'll clear the path <coughs> for her and what it'll be, say she walks in the room and there's four people and they've got lots of loved ones behind them. What will happen is she will see maybe one or two and she'll be fine. What she wants so to be able to do is to still still see her own loved ones that have passed. She will. That's what she's afraid of, is that if she if she, you know, kinda of tells them all to go away that she's not ready to no, that won't happen. But they will leave her as well. No, I promise you that won't happen. What will happen is that the one she doesn't want to see will step back. Her loved ones will still stay there because they're hurt. You know, to see where I'm that they'll stay there, I promise you that. But she needs the coat three times because it's it's a protection and she needs that. But you have to ask and maybe get her to ask as well because she has free will yeah. and they won't break her free will. But she'll be fine. She will see her own loved ones. Okay, so she was scared of No, she they won't go. Okay. Did you have to Sorry. Yeah. No, you're no problem. Uh, it's a very female dominated or seems to be a lot of things the angels if you look at the people here today if you look at the authors of the books it's like the program on television uh, like little britain it's like you know i'm the only gay in the village i mean it's yeah, yeah. it's okay. it's that sort of you know it's that sort of feeling is that the way it is it really it's more female than the male pick it up but is it the male ego or will that change because uh, yeah, well, it's I not a subject that men seem to talk as freely about is. As ladies, as ladies do. Yeah. Um, 
Well, yeah, I know a lot of men that, that are live alongside me, um, yes. uh, uh, Stephen, and, you know, I know quite a lot. I mean, we were only talking this morning, there's John Edwards, there's Derek Accord, there's Colin Fry, there's so many of them. Yes. That, you know, are, are doing exactly the same as myself. They, they're they authors, they, they've written books, and I think just that, um, well, I, I find a lot more um, men are actually becoming more open to this, and maybe it's, it is a thing that men might feel a little bit <coughs> embarrassed about it. I'm not sure. I think that's where it might be. I okay. wish that they'd all just, you know, I think, yeah. come along. But I think you're quite open to it because if you weren't, you wouldn't yeah. be sitting there now, you know. So nine um, years ago, I wasn't. You weren't open. I had. To I it. never believed in so, spirit yeah. or angels or anything like that. But <coughs> when Trish had the experience. Mm -hmm. I started to listen, and that was that's my point. If we all listen, yeah. and all all we have to do is listen and watch for the signs, it's in front of us. But I never ever, for one minute, thought about it. But it just it, it just exploded in front of us, and as I say, I started.